Okay, this week's Ion MPI is from Digilent. This is all brought to you by DigiKey. The fruit does these every single week, Lady Ada. What's this week's Ion MPI? All right, I'm thanks. I'm glad. Thanks. I'm glad you asked. This week's Ion MPI is, in fact, from Digilent. It's uh, we're doing all the triangle companies. Triangle, all triangles, all the time. Uh, this is also from Measurement Computing, which is the originator of this hardware. Digilent uh, purchased them and merged with them. So if you see, like, I'll show it on the overhead. You're like, why does it say? Measurement computing instead of Digilent, it's their one company now. Uh, so this week's INPI is the USB 2001 TC. I just thought this was a really great, simple device. It's a single channel uh, thermocouple um, monitoring data acquisition device that plugs into USB. That's all it does, but it does it really well. So let's go yeah, yeah. the data sheet. So uh, this is again from measurement computing um it's uh has one single uh, thermocouple input it has a 20-bit adc it can do four samples per second which is totally fine your temperature isn't moving that quickly you can use any kind of thermocouple not just k types so if you have like n or t or whatever which i've never really seen people use i've only really seen j and k but um you can use any kind it has the uh trace curves that convert the micro voltage to um uh temperature and uh it's got support for you know linux and windows and also like desktop python and so you could use it on a mac with uh command line python uh and it just you know plugs into usb and on the end there's um you know standard thermocouple mini jack uh so measurement computing uh they're a company in massachusetts and they do data acquisition devices um they actually sell a bunch of different things they've got uh you know for example this raspberry pi hat lots of different DACs, temperature uh, monitors etc uh, but this is kind of their first like miniature desktop uh data acquisition device um you know thermocouples were often used for calibrating equipment uh, for example we have a Reflow oven at the office where we reflow our boards. You saw that if you uh, tuned in earlier to the footage we have from our factory. Um, you'll use a thermocouple to measure the temperature as a board goes through. It goes up to 250 degrees C. As you can see, a, a K-type thermocouple or a J-thermocouple can go up to 1200 degrees C or higher. So these are, you know, very uh, high temperature readings for kilns, for smokers, for um you know any kind you know ovens etc anything that can get very hot thermocouples are the way to go they're kind of the best way to measure oftentimes you know people would say oh you take an arduino or something and connect uh you know a, a an AD, you know analog devices or maxim thermocouple amplifier you read it etc but this is kind of nice because it's all in one it's ready to go it's plug and play it has software it's also got um isolation they have an adum um uh, signal uh isolator inside of it so you do have um an isolation between earth ground and the thermocouple which is often like on all of our boards we don't have you know you'd have to add your own isolator so by the time you put the whole thing it's about the same price as getting this like ready to go little deck board um to connect a thermocouple you're going to need a uh, one of these mini plugs uh they're really common uh digikey has them in stock they're a couple bucks You'll get your thermocouple wire, which DigiKey also stocks. You can get them in any length, or you can make your own. And then um, you just open up the thermocouple connector and you screw in your um, cable, or you can get ready-made ones as well. And um, what's nice is also the the plus and minus. I think the width of the minus is a little bit wider, so you can't plug it in backwards. They're called mini thermocouple connectors. Uh, so inside is um you know starting from the right there's the usb controller uh it's actually an 8051 cypress chip it's the c8051 f343 um you know connected to usb through this cable um and then there's an uh io isolator which uses the adum 5401 uh on the text that goes with this uh, presentation it's got the um link to the digikey port number and then it goes to a 20-bit adc uh, that is the ad7785 it's a nice quality analog devices um, adc that it's got there i got a little bit of low pass filters a little capacitor and a ferrite probably to keep them from having little spikes that can be picked up by the cables or the 60 hertz signal that you know is emanating all around us 
Um, and then the software actually is what probably converts that ADC measurement into the temperature because you have to match it. There's a curve that goes with each thermocouple type. So that's done for you. But what's nice also is you, you could get raw data values out. So if you don't want to connect a thermocouple, you could probably just pull that raw value out uh, for a measurement measurement of, you know, a, you know, bridge rectifier or something. Uh, sorry, a resistive bridge sensor. Uh, this is just a photo of the board. Um, I took, I just opened it up and uh, the USB connector is that um, white, uh, looks like a JST pH in the middle there. Um, it's got the five pins that goes to um, the USB cable. And then you see the chips inside and then the Omega connector for the thermocouple. And then I just plugged in a thermocouple that I had uh, sitting around. For software, there is a couple options. Um, so I just downloaded and installed uh, Dakami or Dakami. It's their desktop window software. It auto detects the board and it just grabs data and it was pretty much ready to go in about two minutes. Um, since this company measurement computing was acquired by Digilent and Digilent is a national instruments company, of course, uh, there's a lot of LabVIEW and MATLAB support. So definitely LabVIEW, you know, if you use NI LabVIEW, you're going to have the best support. Um, there's no, you know, direct Linux or Mac um, graphical interface for that. You know, like I said, there's only Windows, it seems. But there is uh, Python support. So, I'm um, oh, sorry, so this is the um, software for Windows. And then for, um, if you want to use it with Linux or Mac, honestly, I would just say use the, the Python library that they've got below. It looks like you can just like query it and get um, the raw data as needed. This is the um, software, you know, I just loaded it up. Like I said, it pretty much instantaneously worked. It told me a temperature. You can see I kind of heated up in my hand and then I, I released it and you can see the temperature go from 33 degrees C down to 28. Seems to work fine. You can of course save to files, uh, change how often you want to uh, do data captures. And then if you need more complicated data acquisition devices, uh, this is, you know, yes, this is, the, you know, the one we're featuring on IMPI, but they do have fairly complicated and nice ones that have multiple channels that have DACs, have ADCs, up to 20 um, bit ADCs on there, GPIOs, multiple thermocouples, et cetera. Um, in fact, when, you know, we ordered this and we ordered this from DigiKey, um, they had a hundred in stock and they sold out since. So, Whoa. yeah, maybe, this is... Maybe someone knew that this was going to be ion MPI. There's, there's a little bit of a, yeah, it's, this was a, a rarity. Usually when I get something, it stays in stock until we do the video. But this time it, it, it was, I swear. The, the precogs it was figured in stock, you out. And then it got uh, sold out. But um, do sign up, they'll have more. And if not... Check out the other data. This isn't a supply constraint thing where there's never going to be them no, no, for no. like three years. Don't worry about that. More, I think I'm not. I think they really just sold that much faster because this is a. It's a pretty good deal for like a ready to go isolated thermocouple amplifier. All right, and uh, that's this week's on MPI. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Hi on MPI.